Welcome to Deciphering Digital Security. This episode is an introduction to security testing terminology. First of all, penetration testing. What is a penetration test? A penetration test is a simulation of a malicious attack on a computer system, network, or organization from either an internal or external perspective. The term penetration test should refer to a scientific test that is conducted using a defined methodology which includes both manual and automated steps. Sometimes the terms penetration test and vulnerability assessment or scan are used interchangeably. However, a vulnerability assessment is normally an automated sweep of a range of IP addresses with little to no human interaction. Both penetration tests and vulnerability assessments do have a purpose, but it's important to understand which products you're signing up for to ensure it meets your needs and expectations. The target of a penetration test is defined in a document called a scope of work or SOW. The scope of work is an agreement between the customer and the penetration tester, which details exactly which systems are in scope, contains confirmation that the tester is authorized to engage those targets, and a list of actions the tester may take during the test. For example, should the tester call before exploiting any vulnerabilities? Penetration test scopes can be defined as a range of IP addresses, a specific application, or simply all computer systems and applications determined to belong to the client organization. Penetration tests are referred to as external when the testing concentrates on externally accessible networks or systems, and the testing is normally performed remotely over the internet. Conversely, an internal penetration test involves the tester working from an internal network position, perhaps targeting an internal business application or simulating an attacker with insider access. The box terms are used to define how much information you want the penetration tester to have prior to the start of the test. In the case of a black box test, the tester has zero prior knowledge of any of the systems to be targeted, and they must discover everything from scratch. This most closely simulates the approach of a true external attacker looking to gain access to an organization. At the opposite end of the spectrum is a white box tester. They will have full details of the system or application to be tested and can leverage this information during their test. This approach closely simulates the actions that would be followed by an insider with this level of information. Source code review is an example of a white box methodology. A hybrid approach is gray box, which combines both the internal knowledge of a white box test and the methodology used in a black box test. A black box test is sometimes known as a blind penetration test, and these two terms can be used interchangeably. A double blind test is when the client's security or IT team is not informed that a black box penetration test is about to occur. Usually this type of test is an arrangement at the executive level of the client organization. The purpose of the test is to validate that detection and response procedures are working as they should. Wireless assessments concentrate specifically on the security of wireless networks. If poorly configured, a wireless network could provide an easy entry point to an organization. At the end of any test engagement, a client can expect a report. The report will include a summary of the test findings and then more specific details about the vulnerabilities discovered and how they can be remediated. If the purpose of a security test is to ensure compliance with a standard such as the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard or the British Government's Check Team Standard, it's important to work with a company that is authorized to perform these types of tests. But what is most important about a penetration test report is remembering it is the only tangible output of the testing process. Different customers will digest security test reports in different ways. Therefore, they should feel at ease to specify any specific reporting requirements they have to the penetration tester.